Today we are in studio. I am not by myself. We are coming to you live from Discover TV. Let us be your stage. I am not alone. I am with yeah. They call people like you, Mini. Three when when you when you are talented in three ways. Triple thread. Yes, actor, singer, songwriter. Yes. That is interesting. Not dancer. A triple threat is usually sing, act, dance. Writing a song? It's not easy. That's true. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's not easy. Okay. My name is Sishi. Yeah, and I'm a triple threat. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> okay. So, we all know and love you as really? presenter, okay. actor, mm -hmm. and now you are, you know, venturing into music. You've actually been in yeah. music for some time. Can we start like reverse a bit? Okay. Me, I researched you a bit. Okay. Went to choir leader. Mm -hmm. So when you're a prefect also. <laughs> so how did you get into music? I don't ever remember speaking about being a prefect. How did you know that? You were a prefect in 2015. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was. And how you, did you know that? I, like it was my job to know. Okay. So then I ask you about okay. these things. Okay, okay. So how did you get into music? I started writing songs when I was thirty. The, the choir thing. Sorry, let's go back to the <laughs> choir you know days. I, I've never said that. You have never said I've never it ever. It to anybody. Oh, you were a choir lead. I, I never, never said that before. So how did you find that out? I dig and I search and I call people and I'm like, this tennis player. He's a choir one. Whoa, bro, that's <laughs> that's that's that. Okay, the tennis thing I do post about. Yes. I, do, I do play tennis. Yes. But you know I was in the choir. That's... You were in the choir and I found out you were in choir. And I don't okay, cool. Yeah, so I was in the choir, I was in the choir, I started writing songs when yes. I was thirteen. Mm -hmm. First time I sang was like when I was seven. PlayStation game, mm -hmm. and I was hitting all the notes, and I realized I was actually really good at hitting notes. Is it? So I was like, maybe I should start doing this more. So I did. Okay, so did you ever hit notes like in front of people, right? Yeah. And they told they validated that. Well, yeah, no, you can sing, sing. Like you can sing. I mean, my parents, yeah. Our parents tell us that we can sing. Yeah, and that's you said people. They're okay. People, and that's that's what matters. And then again, when did you say, "Hold on, no, man, I'm taking this further than." Like my living room. Um, I would say probably when I was six, sixteen. Mm -hmm. Um, I did a musical in front of like a huge audience of people at the Elizabeth Snelling Theatre. Wow. Know. Okay. And I was like, people are actually moved by this. So I think I want to do this more. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So what came first to you, acting or singing? I started singing first. Okay. Yeah, so I started singing first. But there's no bigger love. I know you must ask me what I love more. No, I think I love more. I love both equally. You love both equally. Yeah, so in 2019, you were on Hectic 99 as a presenter. Yeah. And presenting, like, do you put it in your cast? Absolutely. You? Hate it. you don't like presenting? No, I never I What is it about presenting that you don't like? It's the energy, right? Okay. Like, Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anne. Hey. I hate that so much. I hate that. I was faking it the whole time. Um, I love the show. I love the show, by yes. the way, that I'm not speaking alone. The show. Yeah. I'm saying I just hate it doing that. I don't think that's something I want to do. Okay. I just, I, I, I can't do it. It's too much energy. <laughs> it's not like, it's, it's not real. Okay. That's why I prefer this, like, you know? This, man. It's, it's a conversation. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. That, that. That is more Yo, I, Okay, so with your acting, right, you were on one of the biggest, I mean, you were on, on one of the biggest shows, Ikomora, and obviously, um, the passing of Oman Koni, like, it did, like, affect you. Yeah. And how was that, hearing the news? Yeah, I mean, I was shocked when I first heard it, because I mm. didn't know, I didn't actually know, like, there was anything wrong. Mm -hmm. Um, The last time we spoke, everything was okay, she was fine. So, when I found that out, I was actually in the studio, Two weeks ago. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. So I was I was very shocked. It was hit very you. Shocked. Yeah. It, it took time for it to. Usually, this kind of thing only hits when you go to like a memorial service yeah. or funeral, and you see your family, and you see you know. Then you go, oh, this is actually real. So like, uh, yeah, that was, it was it was a huge loss, huge loss, not huge. just to me, but the whole industry. And her, like, what was your relationship with her? She was like. Literally like a grandmother. Like, oh man! Yeah, yeah. she bring us food. She would like Stop. bring us gifts yeah. from the states. She would tell us stories about like a limo picking her up from her door to yeah. take her to the airport. Yeah. You know, so there was a lot of things I learned from her, and I I'd say even just how to like be a professional on set. Okay. I learned a lot. Yeah, like you were very privileged, like as very much so. legendary. Very much so. And yes, about any, like, I don't know, some, I don't know, some veterans I, I, I hear, okay. we didn't have any Uncle Mar or okay. like this, but I, I hear that they're quite stuck up and they're very much like, uh, yeah, they're like these young people. None of them. Also, oh, there's like, that middle division. Yeah, but none of the ones. young are, actors, we mm, veterans. Yeah, okay. but none of the ones Uncle Mar were like that. And Mom Corny was the epitome of just. She seemed like as in like I, I, okay, I'd see her on like her TikTok videos. She seemed like very like she's a fine person to yeah, be shot, amazing yeah, together. We shot, a, we shot quite a lot of like dance, <laughs> like dancing together and stuff. It was a lot of fun. Dancing, how didn't you get into dancing? Because I don't know how to. At all. At all. At all. To save my life. I cannot. I I, I once did. <laughs> At? I think we all were once in high school. Yeah. You know? Um crumping. Yo, can't be thing, thing, thing. Is it you need J squad? J squad. Yo, those days, days. Yeah, that vibe. But we come from far. We do come from far, but we made it out, and that's what matters. And right. Never look back. That's and now mean. you are a full blown like a musician, and you have a show coming up. Yeah. Listen, okay, so in twenty twenty one, you released "Be Sincerely Yours," right? Yeah. And when I first heard your music. The genre, I, and there were some serious vocals. So, any musical influences? For Cecilia, or you mean just in, in general? general? Um, I mean, I like, I really like the alternative stuff. I yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. The weird stuff. Um, there's this artist, his name is McGee. There's another artist, his name is Dijon. I mean, at the time, though, Drake was a huge influence. Okay. Kendrick Lamar was a huge influence, and like, the, like how to structure an album mm -hmm. and just parts, you know. Um, Kanye West, obviously. Um, who else did I have a post of? Frank Ocean. Frank Ocean. Those are the people I had posters of on my wall. Your music does, okay, for and me, Michael it, Jackson, gives, it gives course. like some Frank Ocean. Mm. It's Thank beautiful. You. I don't want to, your music is beautiful. Thank your you. music is timeless. Thank you. I like just that. in the car, we were coming here and I was listening to some stuff still from Sincerely and I was like, no man, it's like the first time again. Thank you. So, Yini, what was the inspiration behind Sincerely Yours? Sincerely uh, Yours, Sincerely Yours, Sincerely Yours. Uh, okay, okay, so I just have to remember like what I was writing about <laughs> or where I was at. I was depressed. Stop! Ha! Huh? I was yeah, depressed, bruh. Huh? Ha! In dumps! Zoomland! Yeah, it's depression. In dumps, I was in dumps. In dumps, I was in dumps. Gonk, in dumps, I was in dumps. Bangani. Damn. I might catch you. Yeah, well, mm. so yeah, it was, I, 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 that album was very, that EP was very much from like a depressed, you saw the album like, once. It's yeah, just like, dark, it's dark, like it's so dark. Yeah, but tell me, vibes. why do some mm. of your best things, like as artists in Jay and creators in general, come why from do some sadness? of your best things come from your saddest things? I think it's because it's real. Not, not that happiness is not real, but it's like, yeah, I think... We like championing a person. Okay. We like it if someone's going through something so that we can feel like we're on their side. Mm, like, we mm, want you mm, to make mm, it out. Mm, we want mm, you mm. to be better. And then once you're better... Justice for Sishi. Exactly. Yeah, you know? I get um, you. Free my nigga Sishi, you know? <laughs> and so when Sishi's finally free, yeah. we don't have anything really that we're like... Yeah. It's like, okay, he's free now, so what? You know? Yeah. And then, so, Manje, okay, you've dropped some <clears throat> singles. Mm -hmm. Either way... All night, you know? mm -hmm. In the inspiration. All night was 2019. Oh, I see. Yeah. I 
All night was my thing about your music being timeless. Mm. So now you all night was twenty. Yeah, nine. Uh, yeah, it was twenty nineteen. It's twenty nineteen. Yeah, it was twenty nineteen. So you've been at this very long time. So now you've dropped, mm. and tomorrow you have a, a show, show tomorrow, yeah. in Maboneng yeah, yeah. living room. Yes, sir. Hey, so it's your first show ever. 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 <clears throat> like by yourself, do you have an opening act? Yeah, I do. Babel okay. Hume. Yes. Uh, I released a song today with them. I released a song mm-hmm. last week with them. I've been working with them a lot. But yeah, I'm I'm like I'm, I'm excited. You excited? Nerves? Yeah, it's like the first day. I'm very nervous, it, obviously. It, but it's like it's the first. Nerves. You have to because it means you care, right? Yes. But it's like it's the first step in what I think uh, performing is always my thing. Like I, I don't think. I was meant to be like a studio artist. Mm-hmm. Performing was what I always wanted to do when I was a kid. And then Man. going five years without getting on a stage, I fell in love with the studio more. And then I was like, no, like, I'm tired of this. I need to get out there and actually, like, interact with people and, you know, speak mm-hmm. to them. And yeah. So are we going to hear reaction. anything from your depressed area, 2019? Of course, or of course. just going to be like, oh, you no, stuff? No, of course. Because that's all part of my journey. Like, that's yeah. all part of... of my growth, and I think my story, my yes. my show, sorry, mm-hmm. is about my story. Your show is about your story. Yeah. Yes. So it, there's a there's a it's starts like a here and yes. it ends here. Yeah. Oh man, I, I like my wait. life. Yeah. I cannot wait. And how have the re- rehearsals been? Like preparing for a show is preparing for a show. Like what's harder? Like have mean oh it's long. It's yes. It's long. It's very successful. Yeah, man. You know when like Molung said album. Yeah. Yeah. Like the anticipation. What's mm-hmm. about will they love it as much as you're putting in? Mm-hmm. And then you're preparing for the show. Like which one? Tougher. Oh, I'm mad, yeah. yeah. Preparing for a show. Because I haven't done it before. You haven't done it. Releasing before. now is so easy for me because I've been doing that for like yeah, a long yeah, time, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So for now, preparing for a show is actually harder because I'm working with new guys I've never worked mm-hmm. with, you know? Yeah. Um an incredible band, by the way. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're so good. Um, so come to the show, by the way. I just want to plug myself there. Please come to come the, the show. show. It's tomorrow at Maboning. Yeah. And you can't tell us. Living room, Josie. People in the 25 have hollered. So please come. I'm glad 23, I'm fine. No, I'm going to be 25. I'm glad I'm fine. Because it's on a Sunday. Yeah. You have no excuse. You actually have no excuse. You have no excuse. And I'll I want to make the fact they're very generous people, don't worry. They're coming to my... And okay, my morning, great. It's I around the forgot. corner. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. Now no one has an excuse. All these people were saying, hey, bro, you know, it's just tough. It's not tough, bro. You lying, bro. It's not tough. Come on, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be packed mm. now. Now it's going to be packed. Mm, thank you. But I believe in your vocals. Mm-hmm. I believe in your vocals. I'd yeah. love to hear you live. So we are definitely going to squeeze ourselves in there. Ne? Please do. Because I would really love to hear you live. Please you do, know, that's why like every time I'm here in studio and you hear rehearsing, I also want to leave because in front of us, I mean, because I want to experience when I like experience when I'm alone. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually gonna rehearse after this as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can just like who, who who's your music for? Who are you writing for? Who are you singing for? Mainly myself, it's quite selfish, <laughs> but it, it, I, yeah, I like if I like my song, I don't. Give a damn who doesn't like but it. But who's your audience? Right now? Uh-huh. There's a lot of women in it. Mm-hmm. Um, That's not intentional, though. It's not like I was making something. <laughs> no, maybe. But the Sir? point is that... The point is that... You're giving off that edgy vibe. Why not? The point is that... The yeah. point is that... Mm. I like my songs, and that's all that matters. And then whoever likes it after that, cool. That's on you. Sana, you have okay. We love your songs. Like I will put my channel on it. Mm-hmm. Okay, just just listen to it. any CC song. And apparently he's got songs that he doesn't like much. That is, oh, I've got a lot of songs. We love. Oh, there's a lot of okay. songs. Then, just please take your time. Oh, there's a lot of songs. I'll put there. a couple of links in the comment section down below, right? And then you guys can say. Can we discuss which which ones you're gonna put on so that I can choose the ones I like? Because it's about me. I'll choose that also I like on my channel. Okay, fine. <clears throat> Cause you probably have like three links. And I have like 16 true, links. True, 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 true. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, please, 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 thank you so much for coming on, taking time out of your rehearsals. Mm. 
you know, mm. to be on my channel. Like sure. my first guest in my studio. Oh really? Oh shout out. Thank shout you. Out. Thanks for Thank, you. That. Thank you. Thank mm. you. And are we gonna go pro or tennis or <laughs> I know. But once upon a time I wa- I actually wanted to though when I was in grade. Oh. That's a very long time ago. Fana. Yeah. Uh, that was like it feels like it was like 20 years ago, but it was like 15, 20 years ago. Mm. I used to practice a lot and I was yeah. quite good, you know, I was quite good. And then yeah, I just uh, just decided to focus on my studies. Funa. You know what, ne? Because this about. interview specifically like is Funa to get into the music. Mm-hmm. <laughs> at some point in his life mm-hmm. mm. so when i was a prefect mm. first of all i don't know how you know that i know that what else do you know about my life man what i'm going to miss you um yeah i was a prefect but i wasn't the kind of prefect who yeah like took names and like i didn't You're i wasn't cool the yeah i was a cool prefect so yeah. I, okay and i knew the guys who came with yeah. with alcohol they, they came with stuff to yeah the school. and you just chilled about it i was like hey man it is what do it is. you man what am i gonna do about it bro yeah, yeah. also your corporate like portfolio is quite good like why not corporate um i hate it i hate it you see the, the same way i feel about presenting yeah. it's the same way i feel about corporate, corporate. it's the same to me right Corporate, I did internships. I did two internships. Mm-hmm. At, how do you? I mean, this is on my profile, though. I put this. Okay. What, what else do you know about me, dog? It's a bit. It's a little bit weird. It's a little bit weird. Um. So yeah, yeah, I I did corporate. I did very well. You did very well. I was offered jobs mm-hmm. at at certain firms that I won't mention, mm-hmm. but yeah, I turned them down because. This is what I want to do. Mm-hmm. I'm not making as much money as I would be, but I'm happy, and that's what matters. That's the thing. Mm. And sometimes it's really not about the bag. Yeah. But the bag in you. Oh. And your music. Preach. Preach. Say amen. Can I write two mm. songs for you? I have more songs like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Let's just leave it here. <laughs> But it's I, not I really about the bag. bag, it's about the bag in you. In you. I'll take that though. I'm Can I get credit for that part? And I also have three songs I can write for you. And I can be a backup singer tomorrow. Like I have this dance that I can do like, hey, and then I just... Wait. Um, guys, let's just leave it here and I will see you on the next video. So should you want to say anything to my people? I'll see you tomorrow at the show. And then Kholile. And I can dance. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. No, but your song is very laid back, so it doesn't require much from me. I but do I have songs do. that are not laid back, so let's do whatever you have. We'll just keep it for off camera, but well, can you I? Dance it. No, dance it, but not for. I need to you write for yourself. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna dance, dance for when? the people. No, at least I'll, there will be someone there in your show doing something for the people. Me and Singing for yourself. Okay. And I dance for the people. Oh, I'm not singing for the people. Guys, we will see you tomorrow at the show where I'll be dancing. But are you coming though? Yes. Okay, good. Because I've coming? got this whole dance. Are you coming? Are you coming, Zuzu? I've got this okay, whole dance. Yeah, so will you let me so everyone, dance? Everyone in this thing. He's not, he said he's no. Sana, but I won't even get the dance. No, day. no, no. Oh wow. No, okay. No, 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 no anyway, bye guys. Bye. <laughs> okay. Anyway, is that dance? Is that is that it? Are we done? You're done. Oh, okay. <laughs> bye. <laughs> We're done. Do you ever go to a place in jail and just be like in the background? Yeah. Where? I always do that. I don't like being. It is boy in in. Weren't you like part of the committee? Yes, it is. Yes, I was in house comm. That's what I'm saying. Like, don't you, do you ever go and like just like...
Oh, as in not star. like Pia? No, like I stand like out in you every really, room. Really I step do. into every room. I step into. So I was in house comp. I was the deputy head student and the secretary general. And something secretary. <laughs>